they basically have to always be vegan. Morning. Yeah. morning. This morning I went out. Like I said, you know, I moved to my new place now. I'm in the Lower East Side by Chinatown. And it's, I really haven't ventured out yet. I'm still unpacking, I'm still trying to get things together here and things like that. Um, last night, not last night, night before last, I went on a little walk and I just said, let me, you know, pick up a little couple of knickknacks for the place. I need a little um, shower mat and, you know, just a couple of little rugs for the bathroom, different things. I mean, I need a lot of little things, but, um, you know, just put piecing things together. It's really fun. Long story short, I started walking. <clears throat> I did not know where I was at. I was lost. I got lost. And I know Manhattan well, and it's just so fun to learn a different area. <clears throat> it feels like, even though I'm still in Manhattan, the island of Manhattan, it feels like I'm in China right now. It feels great. Like, it's crazy. So, this morning, I dropped off my clothes. I hope I like two big bags of clothes for them to do. I know uptown, I usually get them to do my clothes. Long story short, it was like $16 for two big bags of clothes, wash and fold, like, and I'm picking up tonight, like, are you kidding me? It's 7 o'clock. I mean, I'm gonna be at work, so I'll pick it up tomorrow when I'm off, but it's just like, you know, it's one of the benefits of moving to different, different areas. So yeah, I also was looking in the area this morning, and I found a juicery place cold pressed and the thing is you can't you gotta be about this stuff man you gotta be about this lifestyle I mean I don't play I'm, I I really I take this serious it's not a game for me um, I got something called a Benji button cold pressed juice raw and cold pressed unpasteurized coconut water kale blueberry beet and strawberry that's the ingredients and this product has not been pasteurized unpasteurized blah 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 like it's awesome cold pressed like I was watching them press it this morning there's another one just to show you here another one this one of course you gotta get your beets in all the time Orange, it's called a game changer. This is called a game changer. Orange, apple, beet, carrot, lemon. All raw, cold pressed. Cold pressed is where it's at. Raw is where it's at. Then I said, because it's still early, it's nine o'clock, I got a little. Oatmeal also from the same place, and the oatmeal, I don't want to spell it, but it's oatmeal, it's topped with apples, strawberries, cinnamon, it looks and smells amazing, all organic, it's been like 21 bucks, oh my god, this tastes so fresh. I can't wait to finish this video and eat this. I can't wait. Then, before I went to even get any of the cold press stuff, I said, let me start off today warm. This is before the cold press place and the oatmeal and everything. I did go to the dim sum place and I got some, what the hell? Oh, Vegetables, fresh vegetables, steamed, and noodles. That's all. Three dollars for this. Fresh veggies in here, as you see the greenery, and carbs, nice and warm. I don't know, I might have it all this morning. Might save the cold press for later on. Who knows, but I'm gonna do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of yoga movements, a little bit of, you know, martial arts katas little stretching, nothing crazy, just a little something, something, you know, you got to keep your tone up. It's all about keeping, you know, keeping in shape and things like that. So, you know, like I said, every single chance you get, 
try to incorporate something live and living and always carve up. That's what it's about, man. That's what we're built for. That's what we're made for. So every chance you get, replace that process stuff. Replace that dead animal flesh and things. I went to the fish market the other day and I was just looking at the different fish, seafood, whatever, and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get some seafood. I'm gonna get some seafood. I'm in Chinatown. In all actuality, just thinking about meat per se, even seafood. I don't know how long if it's gonna be like this forever or whatever the case, but I'm just I'm telling you my thoughts, I'm telling you, this is my insides, my inner, you know, this you're my peoples, man. You're my peoples. So I'm sharing with you guys. Sharing is caring. And the way that I feel when I went in there, I felt like, if I, okay, another question, and this should be another video, but if you're on a desert island or an island period that didn't have tropical fruits, veggies, and it was just like 10 people, 20 people, whatever, a certain amount of people on the island. And there was nothing to eat, no fish, no nothing. And you had to choose a person to eat. I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say that because it would have to be some type of fruits, veggies or something like that or whatever, you know, I, I would suppose grass, you know, something. I'm not eating anybody, man. That's me. I used to think different back in the day. I used to be like, yeah, I would tear that person up. Somebody, the, the low man on the totem pole is getting it, man. That's, he's dinner tonight. But, um, nah. I wouldn't eat my pet. I wouldn't even eat my pet fish. Like, are you kidding me? It's crazy. And it's the different effects that happen behind all that. And like I say too, you know, I deal with people every day, all day. You know, I deal with the public. So it's my job. I'm a stylist, a hairstylist. It's not just my clients, not just my guests. It's other people that come to me every day, all day. They love talking to me. I love talking to them too. They love questioning me. And a lot of people, they, they always say, you gotta have some meat because you, you have to get protein some type of way. I'm not here to be a fanatic with anybody. Anybody want to ask my opinion and what I've done for my success, this is what I'm doing. I'm sharing with you. So, like I said, as far as the rest, I'm just awakening, you know, bringing awareness. I'm awakening so that you can do your own personal research. And you can also see me on a daily, on a weekly, how things go how things, you know, going and things like that. Like, you know, seriously, I was 50 pounds more than what I am now. It's not easy getting rid of 50 pounds, not having saggy skin, not having stretch marks, you know, keeping your tone up and everything like that. Um, you know, I have I have noticed since I moved, I'm so excited. Like, it hasn't even been a full week yet. But, you know, like I said, I'm like constantly still piecing things, putting things together and things like that. So I haven't even really got like a nice, clear sleep pattern. You know, sleep is so important also. So I noticed like a little, you know, got a little bags going on, whatever the case, but it doesn't matter, man, because I'm getting settled in. I work today, got two days off. Today is Tuesday, so I have Wednesday, Thursday off. Then I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And once Monday hits, Monday through Sunday, I'm on vacation. So I'm going to take that time off. I'm going to learn my neighborhood around here, around the Chinatown, Lower East Side area here. I'm going to enjoy it. You know, like I said, I feel like I'm in China. So there's so many different men. I'm going to bring you guys, matter of fact, you know, you got, why don't you guys let me know? You know, comment, let me know if you want to see, like, the different things down here in Chinatown. They, you know, I'll explain little prices or whatever. I mean, it's massage places, you know, head, foot, hand massage, reflexology. It's um, it's just so many different things. Like the prices down here are real reasonable. It's awesome. You know, I remember back in the day in high school, 
we used to go to D Street, Delancey Street, you know, it was the big deal, ninth grade, and you know, ninth, tenth grade, whatever the case, you know, sneaking over, you know, from school or whatever. So yeah, so at the end of the day, get those raw foods in. It's not about me, it's about we, my peoples. Until the next time, have a good day. Stay vegan.